today. There he is. I got him. This is a fantastic way to wrap up our day of whale watching. I don't think you're going to get much closer to the second largest whale in the world than you are right now. My name is Brad Cook and I own and operate the Atlantic Queen in Rye, New Hampshire. Oh, the Atlantic Queen was built in 1987 and we've had it running uh, basically half day fishing and whale watching since that time. So we brought it up the coast in March of 87 and she's been here ever since. Every winter it's right here at New Report at Hilton's and in the summertime we're up in Rye. Uh, my name is George Charis and I operate Captain's Fishing Parties. And this is my son Chris. I operate the boat daily between this boat and a couple of the other boats. Uh, our season runs from April right up till about the middle of October and our, our daily routine for this boat is fishing. We also do cruises at night, some evening cruises, uh, which could be anywhere from a wedding to a funeral. We heard that the Diesel Emission Reduction Act uh, was being sponsored by the EPA and it was an act that would uh, enable operators to remove dirty uh, high emitting two-stroke diesel engines and replace them with fuel efficient and less emitting four-stroke diesel engines. Heard it through the grapevine, uh, did a little research on it, and then uh, when we applied for the grant we shopped around to a bunch of, well, to a number of different uh, nonprofits, CLF being one of them. Conservation Law Foundation, or CLF as we're widely known in the region, is a uh, conservation group that's been working for almost 50 years now on protecting the environment and enhancing um, the environment's resources in the uh, five states of northern New England and a big part of that has been our work with the oceans. And I had been familiar with them from fisheries days, uh, my days on the fisheries program, and we just, uh, just made an inquiry of um, Peter Shelley and he came up one day and looked at, looked us looked our, our boats over and said, "Gee, that that'd be a project we might be interested in." And it just went from there. You know, I got this great person out there who wants to put in a new engine. I've got this program over here that says, "Well, they'll we'll pay you 50 percent of the cost of the engine to do it." But I have no idea how about how to pull those two things together. And um, Joanne Shacken, who was the head of CLF Ventures, said, "Oh, we do." Seal Ventures is the nonprofit subsidiary of the Conservation Law Foundation. We're not advocates, we focus on the market and using the markets to advance CLF's mission. So we work with people on positive solutions that have economic benefits, that benefit communities, and also that benefit the environment. There are lots of benefits for uh, repowering these engines as part of the clean diesel program. Uh, the primary one is emissions reduction. Uh, many of these engines are decades old and uh, before uh, more stringent emissions requirements. So uh, replacing them with uh, lower emitting engines, which uh, are EPA under new EPA requirements, is a great environmental benefit. From an economic benefit, these engines use less fuel. And so for a small business that's really trying to work on a tight uh, budget, uh, they're able to do the same amount of work, uh, do the same amount of, uh, of travel, and use much less fuel. Our skills could be helpful in attracting the funding, managing the project, taking care of some of the complexities of getting the engines ordered and installed and tested. We've never worked with a with a nonprofit or or with a grant program at all, um, so that was that, that was a concern. I mean, it was very it was very new to us, and uh, it was just we'll we'll try we'll we'll make an attempt at this. There's a little bit of overhead involved in doing it but we figured it was worth a try. I was very excited about being able to, to work with the boat captains and help them achieve their goals because it helps us achieve, achieve ours. This was the first time we had ever applied to the federal government, to EPA, and we're funded by them. So it was a big win for us and for the boat captains. This, this program is a, you know, besides the financial advantages of it, it gives us a chance to start with a a, a clean slate with the latest technology. We're, we're kind of excited about it. We think it's, it's going to be great. Our normal winter storage time is October 15th till roughly April 1st. So it's really not going to change our winter program at all. Normally that time of year we're doing, we're doing pretty work. You know, we're changing windows, installing a new refrigerator. We're doing stuff that uh, isn't, doesn't involve any heavy lifting, let's put it that way. Most of the time, most of it's cosmetic and things of that nature but this year this year we have some serious heavy lifting
this particular venture we had to uh, take out our old engines which would uh, are two cycle Detroits we took the galley out take the hatches out put a hole in the roof uh, had a crane come in pull things out everything on a boat is custom there's no two boats that are the same so as a result the simplest little project uh, any little thing sometimes can be a 15 minute job sometimes it can take a week when we brought the new engines back uh, when they were delivered we had to have the crane pick them up off the truck set them on the back decks we trolleyed them in with chains and then believe it or not we put those engines on a couple of steel beams and greased the beams up with laundry soap and slid the engine sideways the tricky part isn't getting them started the tricky part is stopping them the so next step in the process would be to put the vessel in the water and go through a sea trial and we'll, we'll try to run it as hard as we can to make sure that things are going to be okay. Emissions will, should be a, a big improvement. Yeah, um, we've, I've had occasions where um, the, uh, the old styled engines, uh, something would go sour and um, the boat would come home and the, uh, the uh, styrofoam coffee cups would have a black film on them. So you know that that type of smoke or that type of whatever's in the whatever it is that's in the atmosphere is is filtered all, you know, all through the boat. If you spend any time idling, uh, the 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 fumes, the smell uh, should be considerably less with these because they these engines are computer controlled and when they when they slow down they don't continue to pump fuel into the cylinders and therefore you should get less exhaust smell. Just the whole aspect of uh, of taking care of of, uh, of your machinery is uh, is reduced. Um, it um, just gives you a lot, a lot more time to pay attention to business and, and people. Uh, all the experts tell us that we're going to save quite a bit of money on fuel over the, over the old two-stroke engines. That's going to be a, a big consideration for us. It's a, it's a wonderful opportunity uh, for the boat captains and for others like them to be able to take on a very expensive endeavor in terms of a state-of-the-art engine that is much cleaner burning, it's more fuel efficient, and it makes it affordable for them. Uh, without the help from the the clean diesel program, it, it, it's not feasible for us. We would have been operating the the old engines and probably overhauling them or whatever, and uh, as for as long as we could get away with it, you know, until until somebody either mandated that we had to get rid of them or or, or some such thing, we would have we wouldn't have been able to do anything. It's a costly project, uh, especially on a seasonal business, and. Uh, with this project, we just we need a little help to make it happen. I mean, otherwise, we really couldn't put this project together. This project was much bigger undertaking than I thought. I thought you know, it was going to be bing, bang, boom. We're going to take the old engines out, put the new engines in, and everything will be great. And the CLF is going to help us, and the, the DERA program is going to provide us with some funding, and this is going to be terrific. Well. The CLF did help us, the DRA, DRA did provide the funding, but it wasn't anywhere near as easy as I thought it was going to be. You know, I'd do it again in a minute. I mean, if I had another boat and there was another grant program available and Eric was available, I'd jump on it. Well, my experience has been great. Uh, you know, working with the CLF has been just a, uh, just a wonderful experience. I, we didn't know what to expect. We didn't know what, uh, you know, what uh, ramifications there was going to be. I would recommend the program and the CLF Ventures uh, end of it to anyone. They're, they're tremendous help. Couldn't, couldn't have asked for any more. As far as performance of the new engine goes, we, we, we couldn't be more pleased. Everything, is, everything has been excellent. Oh, the fuel is different. You know, the operation, the, the uh, smoke and the odor and performance of the vessel. Everything is just uh, so, so far superior than what we had. They tell me, as the boat approaches the dock, nose on, so the exhaust pipes are facing the other way, you can't hear the boat coming. Uh, whereas before, when we would start the boat in the mornings, people would get rolled out of bed within a mile. 
I think this project was a great fit for CLF Ventures because it matched some of our mission goals. Uh, primary and foremost, it, it helped reduce emissions, uh, which is primary one of our environmental missions. But secondly, it also helped small businesses. It helped them reduce their costs and help them function more uh, efficiently and help the environment at the same time. And that's what CLF Ventures is all about. We work with people who are advancing our mission and they can really benefit from our relationships, from our experiences, from our expertise and our ability to solve complicated problems and make them move forward. We, we want to see these types of projects succeed and we have skills that can help do so.